Hey there everyone, it's me Chris and this is video number seven for the ramp mod for the D'Agostini Model Space Millennium Falcon. Video seven will cover where to cut the slots on the ramp, the ramp itself, I'm talking about this thing, to uh, glue the footing on for those missing ramp hydraulic arm pistons. Also, we're going to cover in this video uh, where to seal all the parts together to prevent any uh, light leaking um, or light blocking effects. And the finalization of the missing ramp arm pistons for the uh, hydraulic pieces. And another thing, uh, mounting the ramp motor case and ramp motor to the modified motor mount, which sits on the ceiling. All right, here we go. Start it there, Chester. Hit the drums. All right. Yeah, my band is great. Okay. All right. All right, first of all, we want to examine this area right here where we have to cut out two notches, one on each side of the ramp itself. Uh, I have the distances measured out in millimeters and inches, so uh, let me tell you the millimeters because millimeters are more accurate than inches because if I tell you decimal inches, you might go crazy and say, hey, what? So, okay, I've marked it out in red. From this uh, end of the rail here to here is 20.5 millimeters. Measure that out, make a mark. I did so with a Sharpie marker, if you can see it in here, here in this video. And the gap to cut out is five and a half millimeters. Do this on both sides, both sides, and that will match up the geometry for the other four existing hydraulic ramp arm pistons. Yeah! All right! Once that's cut out, we want to seal up, detail, and finish up the corridor and the ramp hallway. Paint up everything pretty. Have your missing hydraulic arm pistons installed as described in video 6. Make sure that they face forward. The smaller piston should face forward towards the ramp exit on both sides which they do currently right now and again you can pre-fit it make sure everything's okay once you pre-fit it glue it in place and add more uh, gap filling glue or uh, body filler modeling putty or whatnot to seal up the edges all around the perimeter where it glues in, then you know, get it pretty again with a little paint and a little dab will do you. All right, I this is going to be a short video. I do apologize, there's no exciting uh, climax of uh, <laughs> this stuff. Yes, I do mention it a lot. Uh, I do prefer gap filling glue over the very thin. CA glue when uh, it, it leaks everywhere. The, the, the viscosity of that stuff is just so uh, uh, mm, mm, great that it just leaks everywhere and makes a mess. I don't really care for that stuff. So <laughs> with that being said, let's move on to the last part. All right. I have mounted the ramp motor case and ramp motor to the modified 
ramp motor mount bracket which sits on top of the ceiling which we'll install in video 8. Uh, simply just uh, take the stock screws as shown here. There's four of them. One, two, three, four. And screw them in place, line them up, and it should face this way. You see that uh, your famous uh, little lunchbox handle? Well, the springy side goes underneath near the ramp motor itself and the rest of the motor case and the ramp motor arm faces outward that way that way towards the exit getting out of the Millennium Falcon now uh, earlier versions of the motor mount had larger holes and the stock screws would not screw in. <laughs> so uh, here's, uh, here's a couple options for you guys that have the older modified motor mount. Uh, you could do plan A like I did and uh, just use some gap filling glue in all four holes. Let it set for about mm, three to five minutes. Then drop the motor case in, line it up plug your screws in, screw them down, and then reinforce it again with uh, some additional CA glue. This isn't going anywhere. It will take uh, a hydraulic press to rip this thing apart right now, because I can't do it with my bare hands, and I've been accused of being a, a pretty big, strong guy, although I'm a geek with tattoos. All right, with that being said, Coming up in video 8, we're going to cover installing the ceiling on top of the ramp and corridor assembly while it's uh, glued in and all the gap filling and light blocking uh, effects have been made for it. And then video 8 will also cover installing the micro switch brackets, uh, I've got two. This one's for the one that goes towards the cockpit and main hold. The shorter one shown here is on the back side or going towards the engines. And we'll cover, which is very important, the upper linkage bracket that is adhered and glued to the top of the metal pins on the long hydraulic piston arms. This is a very crucial and uh, important part. Got to pay attention to that aspect in uh, video 8. And lastly, we'll uh, hopefully get this uh, pivot pin linked together that will link the extended rack and pinion arm for the motor case. That will uh, link that to the upper link right here and make this actually work. Lastly, uh, video 9 should be, which I plan to do, is a proof of concept uh, showing a video action of this thing actually working under its own power. Yeah! Take that, you voices in my head. Yeah, who's the boss now? Huh? Me! No, me! Alright, hey, thanks guys. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more, as usual. Alright, bye.